Okay, so I wanted to do a line tutorial. Um, the first thing I want to go over is the mechanics. You kind of do have to be alright with your dash cancelling, your animation cancelling, because uh, it, it does involve a lot of that and there are lots of mistakes you can make. So, the first thing is if your inputs are kind of too close together, there's a bug where you, you, you get the recoil after the dash, it'll mess you up. You can't be having that. Um, it, there's very few times you can save the run if you get that, that bug or that issue ever. So just, you want to be able to slow down your inputs, right? This isn't me rushing, this is me taking my time. And there is a little bit of leeway in how fast you have to be. Um, so you can actually achieve fairly consistent results. I hear thunder. Um, because you, you don't have to be as fast as possible. Um, you can slow it down once, you, once you've once you gotten the, good at the mechanic. The other thing you have to do is you have to let go of the aim analog stick or the shoot button between each shot, otherwise you'll fire those extra little shots. Those extra little shots are usually good, they add DPS. In this circumstance, they just add shrapnel. That'll collect you later, so as best you can avoid doing that. Um, now I want to go over basically the order I break these doors. So the first door I'm breaking is going to be the one that lines up with these rocks. It's only a few frames into the fight, um, so I might not have seen that yet, but that's the one I'm going for. Um, break him open with full charge, half charge, and then get ahead of him. As best I can, I want to be position always positioning ahead of the gaps that I'm firing through. So I'm ahead of that gap, now that gap's going to come towards me. I don't have to hightail it and keep up with that gap. Um, it's much better for me, it's much easier to work with and avoid the shrapnel at the same time. Um, and I'm just going to charge a full charge and hit the first panel on this middle ring I can. So there we go, we've hit that panel. Um, we leave two panels and then we're going for the next panel. And, and to position for it, I'm ahead of the gap that I'm shooting through, but I'm also ahead of the, the panel that I'm aiming for, right? Because this gap is moving clockwise, this panel is moving counterclockwise, so I'm ahead of this panel as well, right? I'm between both, where they're going to meet up, um, I just kind of zero in with Rider as they get closer and closer together, and then release the trigger, um, dash cancel, and I'm charging my shot, but at the same time I'm looking for this guy and ooh, the two that he lines up for. So I break two panels on this outer ring now, um, basically we're just killing time, so until these two panels line up again with this outer panel, the, the gap that I've already broke through the outer ring until he lines up with these two, I'm kind of can't really break them open anymore. So when they next line up I'll be able to break them open, but for now I'm just kind of killing time and in that time I'm going to break a two wide gap for me to land that final shot through. Um, and the two that I pick are these two, right? They line up with this guy, they're kind of hard to find sometimes, you might not be able to spot them all the time, but you get an intuitive feel with how far around the, the ring they are and where they are, and you just double check and make sure they're lining up well with a panel in the middle of your ring. And then the next tip is these two bros are going to actually reveal which, which two it is. Um, so these two are going to hit both of the, the panels that I'm aiming for. They, they kind of hit perfectly, it's not always perfect. Sometimes you've just got to be like, yeah, that's close enough, and you know, also double check with the always double check with the panel in the middle, in the in the innermost ring because they they may not always hit the same spot on this outer ring every time, but they do give you a good rough idea of which two you're gonna go for, and then we just fire full charge into panel number one, full charge into panel number two, and then to finish them off, we just fire a volley of basic shots. We have to make sure we hit. Eat both panels once with this volley, um, but you have time to shoot four shots. So you you know, hopefully with four shots you can hit eat both of these once, and that's all we have to do. Then we hightail it again. We're aiming for this panel, and this is our gap. So we want Ryder between those two. Then he can just zero in um, as they get closer and closer together. Release the trigger. Go for the next opening, and then we yep. That positioning is kind of intuitive at this point. Um, I will say if you find your gaps ahead of time, like as much as I can, like you've got to pay attention to where line is, you've got to pay attention to where rider is, you've got to pay attention to where these bits of shrapnel are. But other than that, like as much time as you possibly can devote to, 
you want to be focused on finding these doors ahead of time and if you can find them early enough writer's positioning becomes much more uh, intuitive right if if you're looking for them you're not really going to be in the right spots but once you've found them writer's position gets much more uh, that I find it's better um, when you when you already know what you're aiming for writer's position can be better um, and yeah and he's just between the, pa the the gaps that I'm shooting through basically as they close in we release the trigger and then we're getting ahead of this gap ahead of this gap and we're waiting till that opens and here's why I like the two wide gap right two wide gap on the outer ring means we've got a nice cone shape as this gap moves uh, counterclockwise and this gap moves clockwise we'll have a better better cone shape which is kind of the shape that we want for landing a final shot on the line um, you can get through one wide gap but if you think about it the time I have to land this final shot is basically the time from when that door kind of opens up past this door till the time this door closes off with that door so if I had another panel here I'd lose a fair bit of time to f land this final shot um, so that's why I break a two wide gap mathematically um, whatever works for you works for, for you if you do it a different way that's cool that's your way awesome this is the way I do it this is why I do it and I find that it really helps me with consistency consistency and then yeah that's the final shot so and then the other thing is we're resetting from menu every time that just makes sure the panels spawn in the same spot um, their alignments the same so you don't have to worry about having to come up with a different pattern to break them or in reacting to, to the kind of alignments and stuff like that it's also the alignment you're gonna get in a speed run so why not just practice with that you know, instead of some other other weird way. So again, you're gonna have to maybe work on your dash cancelling. Make sure to re remember when you're practicing to reset to the menu. Um, find the doors ahead of time. Make sure you're getting ahead ahead of them, positioning ahead of them. And I guess that's really all my all my tips for this for this boss. Whoop. Well, we kind of just messed up there. Let's let's go over that. Um, so yeah, that that mess up. As far as I can tell, it's due to me dash dashing at a, at a fun, funky ankle here. See how, how I dashed kind of d diagonally, like not towards the line. I dashed off off a little bit. Um, I think that's just because these didn't align the way they usually do. Usually, riders over here when I go for that final shot. And so that angle's fairly intuitive for me. Um, but yeah, I guess it's just a different angle and, and my thumb wasn't happy with it. So I just dashed the wrong direction and missed the shot because of it. I'm not sure why they didn't align prop the same way they usually do. There are ways you can change which way they align. For instance, if I break this first one and then now I'm going to release the trigger at the very first panel I can. I think. Yeah, I don't think there was any way I could have hit that panel. But I hit the very first panel I can. If you had to hit the second panel, you could. You know, you would have to still leave that two panel gap and hit this panel. Um, but if you broke those two, you would have a much more up and down angle at the very end. Um, you do, you know, lose a bit of time by not breaking the very first panel. You like kind of lose whatever one thirty second, however many panels are in this of, of a cycle. But but yeah, you don't really lose much time. Um, but yeah, you can break that second and that panel there if you want a more up and down angle here. Um, the the issue is that the the time you know waiting for this panel to to line up with the gap, that's going to cut into my the time that I have to break a two wide gap on the outer ring. Um, you do still have that time, like like there's plenty of leeway here, right? Right, that lava is not going to be anywhere close to rider. Um, if I had to fire another two shots, or I'd go to position further back to get more shots and then hightailed it a bit harder. Um, but that, that's about it. That's all I really got. Um, let me know if these this is useful to anybody, um, because I would make more of these if, if people find them useful. I'm just never sure if um, this is a, a thing that people want or not. Um, so yeah, good luck.